What's up and welcome to One Oak Mentoring, the number one mentoring program service for teens of all times, all across the world, universal, galaxy type stuff, right? Uh, how y'all guys doing today, man? Um, it's a sunny day again. Um, uh, yeah, uh, hope y'all guys doing all right. Uh, um, today I'm gonna be talking to y'all about uh, you know, playing street ball, you know, the etiquette of playing street ball. Uh, now, I know a lot of y'all got y'all hopes up and got real excited, man. Y'all thought I was going to come out here and, you know what I'm saying, show y'all how to post up and shoot like Anthony Davis, or y'all thought I was going to show y'all how to, you know, come in and like dunk on somebody like LeBron. Um, not not yet, you know. Uh, y'all guys hold y'all horses, man. That might come a little later. You actually might have to pay for that, you know, type of material, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, today we're going to be talking about... Um, street ball um etiquette and things a lot of people um depending on where you grew up man um most basketball players you know they grow up playing on the street ball um type scene you know and then uh you know they actually make some you know tougher while they're playing and then they can uh translate into like simulated games you know like real games where it's like rules and things like that right but it all starts on the blacktop right but why I'm teaching you guys is because some of you guys have never been in cultures that you um, play on the blacktop or you never been in cultures where you just like would know the rules, you know, of street ball and things like that. So, you know, you might just go straight to playing rec ball or, you know, playing for the school or something. And you're thinking that you're just great, you know, and, um, you know, but really you haven't built that toughness that it takes to play on the blacktop. Now, just because you're playing on the bl blacktop doesn't necessarily mean you're getting the experience. You might be playing on the blacktop by yourself you know, nobody's around. So, but when you start playing on the blacktop around certain people, right, then you start seeing certain rules, right? So that's what I want to break down for you. So if you're, let's let's start it off this, this way. So if you guys, um, any type of street ball, you guys need to know about taking the ball back, right? Now taking the ball back, that's not like, um, I'm not talking about, you know, like a bully comes up and takes your ball from you and was like, hey, this is my ball. And then you go and you take your ball back from, you know, standing up, you know what I mean? That's, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm not taking, talking about that, right? What I'm talking about is um, when you're playing basketball, let's just say you're playing against somebody. Oh, just say you're playing two on two, right? So you shoot the ball, right? When you shoot the ball, right, and you hit the rim, if you hit the rim, your opponent, right, they can't just take the ball and go right back up, you know, they actually have to take the ball back to like a certain marker. So normally most people do like the three point line, but the way this court set up, man, it's kind of, uh, you know, it's not really set up like a regular court, right? So we're gonna use this line right here, right? Very simple, right? So if somebody is on the other team and they shoot the ball, it hits the rim, right? You can either get the ball and take it back, Now it's cleared, right? Okay, so now you can play. Or what you could do is um, pass it to your partner, right? If your partner is behind the line, you could just pass it to them, right? Let them get the ball and let them whew, next, right? Okay, so always remember that. Take the ball back, right? And I know a lot of y'all guys, man, you mind moving at 100 miles per hour, right? So when you see the ball and it uh, bounces off the rim and you, and just say y'all just getting beat bad and you don't know anything about street ball and you just want to grab that ball and you want to be the hero you want to jump right back up and make that shot right uh, but it didn't count because you didn't take it back right so y'all guys got to keep that in mind right okay right so um but uh you know i want y'all guys to know that um another thing i want to talk to you guys about is uh 21 right so um 21 is actually like a really popular game you know i'm not sure if anybody that's in the professional sports or anybody that came up in like certain cultures um urban cultures uh don't know anything about 21 like everybody knows about 21 except you ex except if you didn't come in a, a certain culture right so 21 is like it's just a quick game to 21 the first person to 21 you could be playing one-on-one -on -one, or man you might have like seven or eight people out there man everybody just running it around like it's a soccer game or something like that right but it's 21 right so let me give you a couple of rules on 21 um, normally, uh, like definitely if I'm just playing with like two or three people, you know, we taking the ball back, you know, like every time, man. So we're not just going like straight up, you know, 
ball hit the rim. The ball has to hit the rim. Now, if you hit an air ball, now if you shoot an air ball, or if you hit the backboard, no rim, don't take the ball back, man. Put it right back up in their face, right? All right? But, um, but yeah, like two or three people, um, we playing, you know, we take the ball back. If it's a lot of people, um, some people wouldn't don't take the ball back. But me, like, I always like to take the ball back, like, regardless of what's going on, right? All right? So keep that in mind. Make sure y'all taking the ball back, man, because you can, like, mess up, like, a really big play. Or if you, like, playing with somebody, like, when you play street ball, sometimes you might just go to a court or something. You might be on the team with somebody who you don't even know. They might just be playing pickup. Hey, I pick you, you know. And if you make the wrong play at the wrong time, man, certain people, some guys are, like, really passionate about this sport, man. So you might end up with a big, like, knot on your head, man, or you might be, like, missing some teeth or something, man. So you got to make sure it's very important, man. Don't mess up the plays, right? Take it, you know, um, not take it right back up. Take the ball back if you have to. If you, I've seen people get mad at people that take the ball back um, and they really didn't have to, right? But it's better to be safe than be sorry. Okay, guys? So y'all guys keep that in mind. Um, another thing about uh, 21 is uh, there's really no rules, man. So it's kind of like, you know, um, uh, kind of like the honor system, I would say. You know, if you uh, foul somebody, you know, well, the thing about fouls is, is if somebody fouls you, right, especially in street ball, right, if it wasn't all that bad, man, or is it just a little something, you know, hey, you know, you don't have to call it, right, but you have the right to call your calls, right? Now, if somebody come over and tackle you on the ground, man, yeah, you might want to go ahead and call foul on them, you know, but you don't want to get in the habit of calling, like, every little foul, like, you know, somebody, like, sneeze in your direction, man, or somebody, like, you know, uh, you know, come close to, like, brushing up against you or something and you want to call foul every time because you missed a shot you know man you're not going to get a lot of respect like that right all right so the thing about street ball is like being tough man you know hey sometimes you're going to get fouled you know sometimes it's going to hurt sometimes you just might not even call it because you're in the groove of the game right all right so y'all guys keep that in mind um out of bounds um there's technically no out of bounds in 21 right so uh but don't take advantage of stuff, guys. I see a lot of young guys do this, man. So that's what I'm trying to teach y'all. You know, when you start getting older, you can understand, okay, all right, that's not what I need to be doing. But just because there's no out of bounds, you know, that don't mean take the ball down to the store, man, and get you um, a soda and come back and you still got the ball and you still think the game is in play, man. Like, there's no, there's technically no out of bounds, but you know, you want to be within reason, okay? All right? Don't be like taking the ball and y'all running out of bounds and y'all chasing each other, man. You know, man, it's not, it's not football. You know, we're not doing anything like that. Right. All right. All right. So just because there's no out of bounds, don't take advantage of it. Right. Because you're going to, if you just do stuff like that, I mean, you're going to look like you don't know what you're doing or you haven't been around any ball players and stuff. Right. So traveling, let's get these calls, right. Traveling or how, you know, when I was coming up, we call it up and down. Right. But traveling up and down is all the same thing, right? A lot of y'all might not know what that is. I'm going to show you. If you have the ball like this and you jump up, that is traveling, right? It is so simple. Got the ball, both feet off the ground. That's traveling, right? Now, don't, just because we're not, people don't necessarily call calls or there's no rules in 21 per se, that doesn't mean go around jumping around like you're a rabbit the whole time trying to prove a point like oh y'all can't call this on me y'all can't call traveling on me y'all can't call up and down on me right don't do that man people are going to get annoyed right you want to show you have some type of skill when you out especially in street ball because people will look at you a certain way okay um walking now you know what a walk is You're just going for a stroll right so this is a walk y'all know what a walk is you know it's like you're coming down the aisle to get married, man. You're walking. You're walking, right? So, okay. So, guys, don't do that. Just because you can do it. Now, some people, if you're not as good, sometimes people might be, you know, you know. And another thing about street ball, you know who is kind of good and who you can call walk and who you can call all these, um, you know, really harsh and detailed calls on. You know, you kind of know, man, who knows better, and then you kind of know who doesn't, right? So, you know, man, don't be too harsh with the calls, man. You know this dude can't even, 
the dude can barely dribble, man, but you want to call, you know, walk, double, and all this stuff on him every time, man. So show a little bit of leeway. But it's according to what kind of skill set you know that you're on, right? So another thing, um, double dribble. A lot of y'all don't even know what that is. So double dribble is I'm dribbling. Oh, now nah, I'm going to start back again. Oh, I want to do this. Nah, I think I'm going to start back dribbling again. Um, that's double dribble, man. So y'all guys just don't keep doing that, okay? All right, those are the, those are certain calls I want y'all to just make sure y'all paying attention to. Um, when you're playing street ball, uh, it's very different from playing inside. If you're playing inside, it's like a court. You know, you might fall on the court, you know, but it's not as dangerous as if you're playing like outside. Like this right here, this is more like cement, um, kind of smoothed out, you know. So if you fall on that, it'll be a little worse than the court. Um, but if you plan on like concrete, like we come on like playing on concrete, you know, man, you coming down the court, man, you running like five miles an hour and you fall the wrong way, man, you're going to have some, some pink, some pink showing on you, man. You know what I mean? But guess what? It's part of street ball. Get right back up. Keep playing, man. This is where the toughness come from, man. You know, this is where a lot of people get their respect from, you know, you might not really be, um, tough, but you got toughness in you because you'll keep playing ball. You know, you'll take the fouls. Sometimes you just gotta, sometimes you just out there just playing rough, man. Sometimes, but in moderation, man. Don't use that, it, use this as an excuse to, you know, get a, get aggressive and, you know, put somebody in a choke hole while y'all in the game or something like that, man. That's not what, I, what it's about. You know, it's about, you know, having that um, physical and mental toughness, you know, out on the court, man. So, and um, actually when you, also when you playing ball outside, if it's really warm, man, keep you some water or something, man, cause you can really get dehydrated. You know, man, I don't want to see y'all out there uh, wheezing and huffing and puffing, you know, on the side of the uh, court, man. So, you know, make sure you have you some water. Uh, but, yeah, man, um, that's pretty much it, man. Make sure y'all guys take care of yourself, man. Make sure y'all making me proud on that basketball court, man. Making sure, you know, that y'all out there, you know, hitting your threes, man, and you doing your reverse layups and not. Oh, well, I don't think y'all guys know how to do all that yet. But I'm, I might think about teaching y'all one day, okay? All right, just keep your fingers crossed, man. All right, man, this is One Oak. Um, hope y'all guys having a great day. Um, I'm out.